We've got a very busy day ahead of us. I'm gonna be working on my first shop. We're going to be expanding the pontoon. And I also have to get some Hellstone, and we're also gonna start stocking up supplies for my second shop. Lots to do, let's get into it. <music> Greetings, Terrarians Chaos here. Welcome back to Terracor, episode three. Three. Today we're gonna get started off by doing a build in the shopping district. It's not going to be the castle. I'm gonna save that for the next episode. I have a lot of materials to get and a lot of work to do for that. But as you can see here, I have a lot of specific themed materials in my inventory and this is gonna be for my first smaller scale shop. And if you can see in here, you'll get an idea of what I'm planning to sell. And given the day, yes, it is themed for Valentine's Day. And the name of this shop, as you might have guessed by the title of this video, is Get A Life. So, I'm going to be grabbing all of these materials, heading on over to the shopping world, and I'm going to get started on a Valentine's Day themed build. All right, so in the shopping world, it's currently nighttime. Not a fantastic time to build, but I can scout out the location that I want for the shop. I want it to be somewhere nearby, and just saying, looking at this thing, it looks even better than it did to me yesterday. I can't wait to finish it, but again, it's gonna have to wait. <laughs> so uh, let me take a look as to how much space we have over here. I could always terraform, landscape, and do stuff like that but there are several shops in this direction already that could be a good way a good reason to place a shop over here because people are going in this direction and they're more likely to uh see my shop if they're walking this way but another thought is on the other side where the npcs currently are uh, because we do have this well it looks like somebody's been using purification powder on it but we do have this uh a little bit of corruption down here. Um, not that it matters, I'm not gonna have NPCs or anything like that, so I'm not worried about it actually being an evil biome, but it will be a little bit darker there until we get the contaminator and we could fully cleanse this area out. Um, this could be a good spot for the shop, but there's a lot of open space on the other side as well. So if we just go past the castle, past game go, um, I need to tear down my moss farm, but I think I'm gonna harvest it a couple more times before I do. Uh, so there's Dante's shop. Very large, it's actually, uh, it's a, probably about as big as the castle is almost, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, but this building will be going away soon. I'm looking forward to the destruction of that, but this could be a good spot for it because a lot of people come here to talk to the NPCs. I could have a little shop pop up right here. Uh, nobody's expecting it. Yes, the more I think about it, this will be the spot. So I'm gonna wait for daytime and then we're going to get started on the build. And while I build that, I just wanted to thank you all for the warm reception you've given this series. We're only two episodes in, well, technically three now, and it's already taken off much faster than I ever expected, and seeing all of the excitement in the comments just gets me even more hyped up for this series, so thank you all. Be sure to check out the other content creators in Terracore who are linked in the description below. They are amazing people, and I absolutely love being able to collaborate with all of them. I'd really appreciate if you all took the time to drop by their channels and leave a kind word and subscribe. Most of these creators are newer and smaller channels, and they could use a little extra boost for the algorithm, so if you'd like to do me a favor, I'm hoping we can get all of these smaller channels to at least 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. If you do, thank you very much, but enough about that, let's take a look at the shop. That didn't take very long at all, and now welcome to Get A Life, because we don't have one. Selling love and peace since 2021. <laughs> so, essentially, I've labeled all of the chests with different prices. So, three mana, crystals, two, ten, five, four. 
they're all labeled differently and if we look inside uh so in the 10 one we've got some heart statues because these are really hard to come by i was even considering marking the price up from there and these are also pretty hard to come by but you'll be upgrading out of them eventually. Um, I might adjust the prices on the heart statues later if they sell out really quick because, uh, well, frankly, these four and the two that I used in decorations are the only ones that I found besides a couple other uh, sitting in my base right now. Today, we have some other things to do. Like right now, I need to go underground in the mining world into hell and get some hellstone. But before we do, and uh, don't don't mind the apparent blood moon on the server right now, I just remembered that during a live stream, uh, we had recently got a sandstorm in a balloon, and I went out and got a couple of shiny red balloons. I purchased one from Kushin as well during that stream, and I want to make a bundle of balloons. See, look at that perfect timing. No blood moon at all. Especially not the end of the last episode or every single time I go to build on a live stream or but I mean, okay, blood moons happen all the time here, but let's uh, go ahead and make a bundle of balloons and then I'll replace probably the spiked horseshoe balloon um, because I already have, ooh, warding even, um, I already have slow fall from the fledgling wings so now i can jump even further so let's see it is glorious yes uh <laughs> yeah like twice the height of the living trees i think not bad not bad at all and with the terra spark boots i'm also going to uh crack into my fishing surplus here uh, most of these are for sale or they will be when i make my shop but i'm gonna grab one of these and bring it with us and we're going to grab that as well now let's go get some hellstone hey chaos i have a question for you yo what's up how does one become a true businessman
After about 45 minutes, that was a very productive run. I don't know if I'm gonna need more Hellstone in the future because I plan on using it in various builds and in mini games. It's very handy. It's also gonna be making up my pickaxe, a couple of my weapons and some ammunition. So who knows, but five stacks for now, I'm happy with. I've got plenty of ash to work with if I want to make a hellish landscape. Got a couple of critters, but maybe most importantly, I picked up three guide voodoo dolls, even though that one really, really got close to following into a single block of lava, it did not. And now everything can be right in the world. Goodbye, Logan. Okay, this may take a while. Excellent. All feels right. <laughs> All right, so up next, I'm gonna head back to my base and we're gonna start working on a little bit of an expansion. I want a crafting area. I need more storage already. So I'm thinking about how I wanna do that. Um, I'm going to have an expansion up here, maybe a rope bridge off to the side, leading to another pontoon over here that has more storage and a crafting area as well. I'm not gonna do everything everything right now let's see how much i get done because it's getting late and you know i need to get videos out and in case you were wondering the world really doesn't want me to record this pontoon thunderstorm and a blood moon although it does look quite atmospheric i like it but yeah the world's like nah don't record this build <laughs> Working on the pontoon upgrade, not quite ready to show it off, but I am in desperate need of some jungle grass seeds. So I used what little I had, I purchased what little was in the shopping area, and I planted this tiny farm underneath my base where I could just walk through, and I guess I'd get some uh, jungle roses apparently, um, some dye plants from here too, grubs, and what have you. Not very many jungle grass seeds. But that's what this bed over here is for. Just go ahead and sleep in it. Time goes a little bit faster when I'm the only one on the server. Get more plants, go through, harvest the plants, and so on and so forth. This also happens to be a bit of a gnome farm, it seems, because every time I'm over here, or seemingly every time I'm over here, I find some gnomes in the tree. Maybe not right now. The one time I'm recording, is the one time I won't find any gnomes, but I've killed enough of these guys to get a banner. <laughs> I converted this farm into a garden gnome farm, and let's be honest, it has been far more effective just by clearing out a little gap here for them to freeze in, a little gap up here for them to freeze in. But because of it, during the windy days, I have been getting a fair bit of ladybugs, and for the first time since the update came out, I have found a golden ladybug. I have tried looking for them in the Buildy Bunch. I have tried looking for them in Terracore. I have spent many a windy day collecting ladybugs and never have I seen a golden one. I'm so excited right now and I should probably go fishing because I have good luck for quite a while now. Um, ooh, there's a gnome down there. Like I said, this is more effective as a gnome farm than a jungle grass farm, but whatever. <laughs> I say that and I walk away <laughs> and uh, a golden squirrel. <laughs> uh, the luck is with me today. I don't, I need inventory space. Now, technically, these living trees are a part of Blue Jay's property. He snuck in and became my neighbor because originally I didn't have any plans to build this far out, but lately I've been having ideas for mass expansion, so I invited Blue over to my base to see if I can convince him to sell this land before he develops it too much. Also, I started on the second pontoon and got it near completion, so you're both going to be getting a fresh look at it right now. Hello. Hello. Nerd. There's a um, seagull. I want it. 
It's mine. Hey. <laughs> I thought you were gonna catch it, not kill it. I was going to. This is a seagull refuge, okay? Uh, it was a seagull refuge. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've noticed that you you've uh, expanded your territory and you became ah. my neighbor. Yes. You've yes. set up shop, I, or I've... rather, you've made nest. I've been wanting to move out of the dingy underground. It I is, thought I'd set up a location. It is indeed a glorious nest. However... I know. However... Hmm? Um... Th there's just one little thing. The, the seagull refuge needs to expand. Like, okay, hold on, look. This... This you... is... This is where my territory ends, right? You don't want me as a neighbor no more? Well, I mean... I do, but I want land more. Are you... Are you really sure you want me as a neighbor? God, I, <laughs> I want land. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. this is as um. far as my pontoon can grow to the right without doing that weird camera effect. I walk over here and it's just oh. like, oh, hey, you can't uh, move yeah. anymore. And, I, I can understand. And that. I want to make a big beach area for the seagulls, right? The seagulls. Right, um, right. So I, I was hoping to be able to purchase the land to the left of here from you so that I can hmm. have more expansion space. I might have to talk with my landlord and uh, see, see what his thoughts are. Who's your landlord? That's me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> There's one other thing, though. Mm -hmm. I, I want to buy this delicious, I mean, amazing looking uh, egg from you as well. It's a part of the land. I mean, that does save me time. <laughs> I don't have to move it. <laughs> now... <laughs> now, um, if you're okay with me purchasing, I would say, all the way up to this tree over here. Like, if you want to build to the left of this, then so be it, right? Okay. Um, it's a little crimson-y or whatever. Okay, but I, okay. I don't have any plans beyond here. This this will be my, my landmark. D and I'll sell you everything to the right. All right, all right, including the egg. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Egg, um, it, it'll cost you a little more for the egg, though. Well, what are you thinking you know... price-wise for the land mm, plus the egg, I guess? A hundred crystals for the land, twenty for the egg. Uh, how about a stack of crystals for everything? And one fallen star. Sure. Okay. That sounds good to me. I need to... I don't have that much in my piggy bank. I need to go to my... <laughs> I need to build a, a bank bank. Um, <laughs> one, uh, one... Wait, I want to build a bank, and I'm going to make it a money trough. <laughs> oh, God. And you're going to charge people to deposit their money there. I, I wouldn't charge people their money. There's one stack, Ooh. and mm -hmm. here's one fallen star. Did that actually wait. go in your inventory? No, it didn't. Okay, I... It... What? <laughs> it looks so like weird. it does. It didn't look like it got destroyed. I was trying to make a joke, but it looked like it went into your yeah. inventory. Anyway, there's the fallen star there. in that chest down there. Weird lag. Oh, you're actually... Oh. Down here. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Please take care of my egg. I'll, I will take care of it. You scare me. The last thing on my agenda for today is to collect items that I'll be selling in a shop that I will be making next week. I've made it pretty well known on the server that I want to go into the fishing business, and I feel that it could be a fairly profitable one, so I need to do a lot of fishing. 
I'll likely do a fair bit on streams next week. So if you want to come hang out with me live while I gather the store's inventory, you can find me at twitch.tv slash chaos live on Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific. For now, I'm going to focus on obtaining crates as they not only have good loot, but they make for great decoration items. So I imagine they'll be one of my top sellers. Once I have a healthy supply of them, I'll focus more on the various different types of fish, so I hope I'll see you all in a fishing session during the live streams this week. Alright, so the pontoon is done enough for today. I have a lot of work to do on it. I need to do a lot of detailing work, and I want to make it even larger and have some more bits connecting these two structures together. And obviously, I need a lot of detail work in here. Um, for example, the barrels down here, they're just sitting on a flat platform. They don't have any of the, the moss hanging off of it like it does down here. Um, we're going to be working on that. I wish we could do the teleporter floating trick, but I won't have those until later in the game. And I'm not even sure if I'll be working on this base in particular at that point or not. We'll see. But as you saw just a bit ago, I did a lot of fishing for two purposes. I want to stock up on the shop that's coming in the near future. And I'll be talking about that in the next couple of episodes, maybe. Um, but... I also had a request from Geis, who asked if I had any uh, water walking boots available. He'd like to make his Terra Spark boots. And so I did a bunch of fishing. Um, we got a, a lot of fish here now. And we even got three Zephyr fish for me to stock in the shop. But um, crates galore. I'm going to be selling lots of crates in the shop. But most importantly, we have 20 eight ocean crates this took me several hours to obtain and i went through every single crate potion <laughs> that i i had <laughs> um i think 28 might be enough i got mine through about 18 fishing crates so i'm hoping 28 is enough because i'd like to sell some of these if at all possible but we're going to open these up real quick and see if we can get some water walking boots to sell to guys. We'd be getting about... Oh, there we go. Perfect. I don't even need to open them all up. Fantastic. Now, uh, when it comes to these crates, I might open some up and sell the contents of them. Um, we might not, but I'll send guys a message. He's going to buy these for, I think we agreed on 17 or 18 mana crystals um that is great it's gonna be hey i got another pet to sell uh let me make sure i put that in the right one right over here i'm also planning on selling these kinds of things too um obviously i need to get these moved over and as far as the storage here goes i'm going to rebalance it because we have a lot more storage over here and we're going to get like the building materials over here, ores and bars on uh, maybe over here next to the furnace, and then maybe some of the other crafting related stuff on that side. And then the left side will be building blocks and walls, furniture, light sources, and statues, what have you. And I think that's how I'm going to split things up, but that's going to be wrapping up today's episode once again we did a lot of work on this pontoon here we went underground we upgraded to our molten tools and we're doing some prep work on weaponry too um, obviously we have to fight skeltron first that's going to be coming up in the next week or so and then we purchased this egg and this land from blue jay for a stack of mana crystals well worth it because I do want to expand my base all the way out to here eventually and then obviously go underground and up high. But let me know in the comments what you think that I should do with the egg because I have an idea. I have an idea. We'll talk about that in the next episode. And uh, one other thing for the next episode is this chest here. This do not open. I will be opening this in the next episode. And I'll be showing you what this is all about. So, I hope to see you all then. And until then, happy building.